So many people have tried to guess what's wrong with Penelope, but there's only one real way to find out what's actually going on. So today, we're gonna go to the vet. I think to fully understand why we're going to the vet today, we've gotta go way back, like October, 2021. That's gonna be the best place to start. I had an idea for a project long before her weird symptoms started. I noticed that the reptile community seemed to enjoy fighting online, and although some of it feels necessary, I don't like fighting. My blood sugar is just too low for that type of effort. And to be honest, it bothered me, so I set out to bridge some gaps in the hobby. This was my solution. The idea was to make a bioactive snake rack. Ooh, very fancy. And look at this pasty fella with an oddly wet upper lip, full of ambition. To me, a bioactive snake rack combines the best parts of everything. They're extremely stable when it comes to temperature and humidity. They're convenient space-wise, but by making it bioactive, you can add proper enrichment and a light cycle. What could go wrong? Well, it turns out it's extremely difficult to grow plants in a drawer. And they did hang on for a while, but they slowly began to get trampled and die off. And when plants die, so does a bioactive setup. And around the same time, something odd started to happen with Penelope, my African house snake. For the first year I had her, she was shedding every three to four months and growing steadily. Things started to take a turn in like May of 2022. She had a shed, just like normal. And in June of that same year, so this year, she shed again. Then in July of 2022, she shed again. And just one month later, in August of 2022, she committed armed robbery, injuring a family of three. Alarm bells were going off in my head, so I knew it was time to check the books. And sure enough, she had shed every month this summer. Took down the bioactive setup and put her in something more sterile on paper. I disinfected everything, and not even a month later, she shed again. And when that happened, I knew it was time for the vet. But the weirdest part was she had no signs of mites, no respiratory infection or lesions. She had never skipped a meal, lost any weight, or had loose poo. I can't relate. What could possibly be happening? Today, we're gonna find out. We're running. And with just 20 seconds to spare, we've made it to the vet and I'm out of breath. And I'm just glad it's a nice, relaxing environment. I was politely asked not to film. Fair enough. So I'm gonna do a dramatic recreation of everything that happened to our little patient. Things started out strong, but not for long. The vet started with a surface level checkup. He gave her a solid rub down from her tail to her ribs, to her stomach, to her throat, to her face, and whack. This is the first time she's ever bitten someone. She bit the absolute shit out of the vet. She's got a good set of teeth, the vet said, to lighten the mood as blood was dripping onto the exam table. The vet called in the assistant. Ah, uh, here we go, back up, come on in. We got a problem. There you go, Penelope, now everybody's embarrassed. They wrapped her up in a little towel to get a better grip, and they usually use a credit card to pry open a snake's mouth to get a look inside, but Penelope's mouth was already open with anger, and he was immediately able to rule out any sort of mouth rot or respiratory infection. She also has no mites, and he confirmed that. Weird, so still no answers. But I did also bring her in to get sexed because I'm considering breeding her, so I need to know her gender. I think I know it, but I just want to be sure. That means after everything she's been through, it's time to get a metal probe shoved into her cloaca. And I had to look away. I was getting flashbacks to the suppository I had to put in my butt in ninth grade. I had a contest with myself to eat pizza every day for a whole school year. I stopped pooping for two full weeks. And just like that, we are back. Penelope had kind of a rough day. Uh, we both kind of had a rough day. Penelope had it worse though. I didn't get anything into my butt, but I've got news. Let's get the gender out of the way. When it comes to Penelope's gender, she is a... Yeah, I was wrong. She's a girl. The vet said she had a very small cloaca. And those are his words, not mine. So what about the weird excessive shedding? What is going on with that? The vet basically said, get her off a of bioactive. It's probably enriching. She probably really enjoys it, but let's rule everything out. So I made a good call by doing that. He said there's a very slight chance she could be irritated from the substrate or the leaf litter or something, but it's pretty unlikely. He gave her the full once over, like we talked about, up in her lungs, her little ribs, nothing felt abnormal. We did a full interview, obviously the no skip meals, no weird stools, no ectoparasites, that's important. So no mites, definitely no mites. And this is pretty boring, but he thinks that she just might be too warm. Snakes shed when they're trying to heal themselves, inside and out. If they have an internal parasite, they might shed the same way they have an ectoparasite. They're trying to cleanse themselves, they're trying to start over, they're repairing their skin cells, they're getting bacteria off their skin, they're getting mites off their skin. He thinks that heat inside of my room might have made her feel irritated and shedding was just her expressing that she needed to cool off, she was uncomfortable. Whose fault is that? My fault. This is my first summer with my boas. And after a winter where one of them regurgitated because it was too cold in here, I've been really annoying about keeping it warm. I'm super uncomfortable and I figured that everyone in here appreciated the heat. House snakes appreciate a cooler cool side and Penelope's inside her tub system and it's just holding heat too well. During the day in the summer, it was touching 80, 82, sometimes even 84 degrees on the cool side. It's just too warm. I gave her a night drop, but it was not enough. So I need to cool her off. The boas loved it. 
the gargoyles probably loved it. Nice 80, 82 degrees during the day. Some of my other island boas probably appreciated it, but Penelope is just a slightly cooler species and she did not appreciate it. For anyone who says that she made it into the bioactive, she must be healthy, she must be growing, is not totally wrong. The vet did say a growth spurt was possible. When reptiles warm up, their metabolism heats up. It could have been triggering some kind of growth spurt. And to be honest, that was the first thing I thought of, and so many people in the comments seem to agree. But the problem is she didn't put on that much weight, and she didn't get much longer. But of course, even then, is it still possible? Definitely. Do I regret taking her? No, not at all. If anything, it was a bit of a wake-up call to lower down my temps, which I should have done anyway. I think what ultimately made me make the appointment was when I texted the breeder. I mentioned that my two-year-old snake that I had gotten from her was shedding every three to four weeks for four months straight. I thought I might be overreacting, but she said it seemed extremely weird, so I figured it was time to just take her. So what am I gonna do? Well, the boas are moving into PVC plastic enclosures. These hold heat significantly better, and I can finally cool off my room. I'm also gonna move Penelope lower to the floor. I might even put her on the floor. Floors suck a ton of heat, and it'll help cool her down. Also, the seasons are changing. Summer was brutal. Things are starting to cool down, and I should notice a difference. The vet did leave me with this, though. He said if she ever even skips one meal, if her poop is ever anything but a nice solid little log, uh, if she gets lethargic if she loses any weight, bring her back immediately and bring her back for a stool sample. I couldn't bring a stool sample to the vet. She pooped like five or six days ago. It was dry, you need fresh poop. So I couldn't get that done, but he's really not too worried. Penelope's tucked away right now. She's got a little bit of hot cocoa and a blanket. Like I said, pretty rough day, so I'm gonna leave her be. But in general, I'm feeling pretty good and I think that these changes should make a big difference. If you made it to the end, well, thank you so much. At the time of filming this, I have 46,000 325 subscribers. Penelope can only count to 45,000, so now it's starting to get crazy. Seriously though, I know these hobbies are a little bit weird, but it's really one of the only things that I care about and it feels amazing to share it with you, so thank you so much. And as always, I will see you soon. Peace! Oh yeah, eliminate the dog. Uh-oh, who let the dog?